calamitous day that wiped out the dinosaurs and really made the modern world as we know it. So this place is of global significance. Even better, we have these layers up above where when you come here on one of our dig days, you get to collect fossils for yourself. And as I said up top, that is just a transformational experience for everyone that has it. So right here, what you're seeing is this discovery made by one of our biology students two weeks ago. There is a giant sea turtle in there. It's, it's similar to the leatherback sea turtles that exist today. If you're familiar with what they're like, their, their ribs make up their top shell, but there's spaces between the ribs, so they have that leather covering, that leatherback. This is a similar kind of turtle. It's really big. And so what the crew is doing here today and over the, the last couple weeks is they're excavating down very carefully around it because they're actually going through that fossil layer as they go all around it. So we have to map and collect all those fossils too. And then they undermine it a little bit. They wrap it with a plaster and burlap jacket. Normally, if I was in Patagonia, say, and these were hard rocks, we would cover this whole thing with plaster. We'd undermine it. We'd start to wrap it with plaster that way and, and eventually maybe flip it over. It'd be very, very heavy. This stuff, because it's wet, it needs to breathe or else it'll get moldy and weird and very heavy. So we leave the top open like this. And now what they're going to do later today is we have a big piece of sheet metal. They're going to pound it underneath and then we're gonna slide that onto a wooden platform. We'll take it to our lab at Rowan University, let it dry out for a few weeks and then uh, our students and our professors very carefully will start to open that jacket preserve and stabilize the bones, and once they have them in a good condition, then they can start to study the anatomy of them. And eventually, this will be assembled for a museum mount in the new museum right up.